And we are back here at the Atlantic Hot Air Balloon Fiesta, and we're talking to Carl Layden, who's with the Sussex Aero Modelers Club. Did I get that right, Carl? Yeah, you got it all right. That's good. Now, you're uh, going to get one of these up in the air for us, we hope. Tell us how you got into this particular hobby. Well, I've been involved in aviation for a number of years. Probably started with my father, who was a commercial pilot, and that's where the interest started from when I was a, uh, probably just you know four or five years old. Started with plastic models and moved to remote control when I was about 14 and for about the last eight years I've been really active but I've been flying the RC for about 14 15 years now you're not alone in, in your interest in this particular hobby I mean it's it's uh, it's competitive in some instances yes it is actually here in the Atlantic provinces I guess we've got between 800 and a thousand flyers uh, in our club which is actually quite a new club it's quite small uh, we've got about 25 members mm -hmm. now these don't come cheap uh, the helicopters are not not cheap at all. To start with a helicopter, you're looking at about $1,400, and that's just a basic setup. No, no bells or whistles. And you can go up from there. You said there's no end to how much you can spend. No, uh, as long as you've got dollars, you can keep on spending. I've seen engines that will go for three, four thousand dollars. Now, do most people who have this as a hobby build them themselves, or do they go out and purchase them already built? Initially, you usually start with something quite easy, a kit, or one that's uh, almost completely assembled. We call them. Uh, ARFs, which is almost ready to fly, uh -huh. and uh, that, that generally speeds up getting started uh, with a trainer. You want something that's quite easy to fly initially. And it's so neat to watch them. How tough is it to learn to do this? Well, you usually start off with the planes. The planes are a little more stable in the air, easier to fly. Um, generally, the guys look for a little more challenge. They'll go into competitive uh, flying, or they'll move on to helicopters. And the helicopters are require a lot more stick control, a little more dexterity with the thumbs, and really good hand-eye coordination. And when you have competitions involving these, what is the competition for? What are you looking for? Generally, uh, myself, I just try and do a personal best because I'm not quite good enough on a national scale. But uh, a lot of the guys are looking for smooth flying. You see the helicopter here today is probably going to bounce a little bit in this wind. But if it were a calm day, you'll see that Dan, Dan is a really accomplished helicopter pilot. And you can see where he's hovering just a couple of feet now. It's really smooth flying. And generally, judges are looking for smooth uh, maneuvers and uh, just generally... Uh, good flying overall. Mm -hmm. Now I know that uh, the wind affects hot air ballooning. Does it affect flying these? Uh, the helicopters tend to handle the wind a little better than the planes. Uh, the planes you can fly them in the wind but it's generally up to the skill of the uh, pilot involved. The helicopters tend to handle the wind a little better. They weather vane into it. Okay. Thanks a lot for coming out and talking to us today. You're kind of welcome. There's lots more to come from the Atlantic Hot Air Balloon Fiesta in Sussex, Paul.